is Melanie and today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome faux fur pillow. Um, this fabric is so awesome. It's from Shannon Fabrics and Shannon Fabrics I knew of. Um, they make really great minky but um, I did not know that they made faux fur. So I wanted to try this out and just see how it was to work with. There are some tricks that you need to follow when working with faux fur. So the video will show you all those steps. There's a certain way you have to cut it and there's some kind of pinning techniques and, and things to consider when you're working with the faux fur. But this, isn't this so fun? It's so soft and the white shag is so great. It's called um, Luxury Shag and it comes in tons of colors. This would be super fun in like a hot pink or a lime green for like a teenager's bedroom and fluffy and soft. My kids have been like petting it nonstop. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you all the things that you need to know how to do to make this guy. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is lay your fabric wrong side facing up. Notice that little selvage edge. You want to trim that off. So don't include that in your uh, measurements. But my pillow form was 16 by 16. So I chose to cut my pieces 16 and a half by 16 and a half and that was more than enough space. So just use a pencil or a water soluble pen or something like that and whatever tools you have and go ahead and measure that. Then when you're ready to cut, you want to cut like I'm showing you here. Just cut the back of the fabric. Don't just go in there and hack up all of that fur because then you're going to get bald spots. You want to just get the backing. Once you have two pieces cut, face them fur side facing each other. So the right sides facing each other and start pinning. The thing you want to make sure is that all of the fur and different little tufts are all tucked in. You're going to need some long pins for this process and um, this is a really important step. It'll make the sewing much easier if you've got all that fur nice and tucked in and pinned properly. So here is the pillow all pinned together. Don't forget to leave an opening so that you can put your pillow form in. Next thing you want to do over at the sewing machine, I just use the width of my presser foot back stitch first. Um, about a half inch seam allowance is what you need. This doesn't have to be super precise. Um, just be consistent all the way around and stitch all the way around making sure that um, when you get to the opening you backstitch again and leave that nice opening about six or eight inches wide. Don't forget backstitch. Okay, now you want to clip your corners and then you're ready to stuff your pillow with your pillow form. This could be a little bit tricky, just make sure you pop those corners out really, really well. Next thing you want to do is fold your fur in, kind of mess with that fur a little bit and pin that opening closed. Make sure you've got everything facing each other, you've got it all properly pinned and then it'll be much easier to hand sew it closed. So hand sewing it closed is probably going to be the trickiest part of this whole process. I used hand quilting thread. You want to use a nice strong thread, knot it, and then go ahead and get started. You want to bury that knot in between the fabric. So get the knot in there. You'll feel it pop through that first layer. And then you're going to want to stitch going back and forth like I'm showing you here. You don't want to go around like a whip stitch and get the hairs all caught in as you go around. So you kind of want to do more like a running stitch. Um, so you see me pulling it out and then you want to enter the fabric again on that one side. Then when you're done doing that all the way across, uh, you want to knot the thread and then thread your needle again and put it in through the fabric like I'm showing you here. Then you'll pull the thread through and you kind of give it a little tug and you'll hear the, the knot pop into the fabric so you'll know that that knot is securing your hand stitching. Just do your best on this step. It'll, it'll be secure, it'll be fine. And then just fluff your fur out and you are done. That was really easy, right? Um, please comment below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.